If you spend a lot of time thinking about the past, take a walk with me. I really think this is where so many of us feel stuck. How much of your day is spent going back in time thinking about all the good and all the bad, and some of the in-between? And the things that you're often thinking about are things that you want to bring some sort of resolution to or bring clarity to. And it'll be a day ago, a week ago, or five years ago. And you may not have this word yet to describe your experience, but you're feeling dysregulated. And of course, the body doesn't know the difference between happening now or happening then. So as we think these thoughts, we're spinning everything up and the anxiety just goes through the roof. And a simple trick that worked for me was simply telling myself, we're not thinking about that anymore. And I know at first that sounds kind of weird, but what's more weird? Replaying the same TV show over and over again in your head or telling yourself, you're just not gonna watch that TV show anymore. And at first you might feel like, well, isn't this just bypassing or avoiding a problem? No, the problem is the thought pattern. And right now, you're just feeling like you're stuck on repeat. But when was the last time that you thought about future you? And for many of us, even just that simple thought will put us into this high anxiety state. What do you mean, future me? That's too uncomfortable to think about. There's too many uncertainties. And I'm not telling you to plan out or map out your future completely, but you should have a target in the future that you can look forward to. And then we have to figure out the steps to be able to reach that target. And those steps are the things that you're going to do in this present moment. It's gonna keep you grounded. And now what you've done is you've given yourself purpose. And these are some of the biggest complaints that I hear in my one-on-one -on -one coaching is I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing, or why I'm doing it. I'm not even sure of who I am. So if you're a guy who's struggling with his purpose right now, you identify with having an insecure attachment style, and you're tired of being shamed for the skills that you never developed and were never modeled to you, then go sign up for three months of men's coaching in my bio. Remember, there's nothing wrong with you and you're not broken, but there are some skills that you need to hone.